Good evening viewers, I'm Kai Sadar and Kashmir News Bureau brings you the top stories of the day. All polling stations in Kashmir sensitive, adequate security provided to each booth, says KK Sharma. Police arrest jesh e Muhammad militant associate in Kupwara. GN Monga criticizes JK administration over power situation in Kashmir. Gone for 15 years, Kazi Mujahid Hilal's family prays for his return home. The Meteorological Department has predicted harsh winters in Jammu and Kashmir. Snowfall likely to take place from 4th of December. The State Election Commissioner KK Sharma said that every polling booth in Kashmir is sensitive and that adequate security measures are in place for the second phase of District Development Council elections in which 43 constituencies will go for polls tomorrow. The State Election Commissioner is expecting a large participation of people in the polls. Regarding reports that PAGD candidates are barred from campaigning, KK Sharma said that a few complaints were received by him on WhatsApp and the same was forwarded to IGP Kashmir, who has also taken up the issue with the concerned SSPs. Well, during the Phase 1 elections on 28th of November, 52% voting was recorded across Jammu and Kashmir. The Jammu and Kashmir police claims to have arrested a militant associate of Jash e Muhammad militant outfit in Dragmulla area of North Kashmir's Kupwara district. A police official said that they have arrested a militant associate at a checkpoint and recovered one Chinese grenade and 3.5 lakhs of cash from his possession. Jammu and Kashmir Pradesh Congress Committee Vice President and former MLC GN Monga says that as the winters have arrived in Kashmir and minimum temperatures are plunging to freezing levels, frequent power cuts have compounded the problems of a common man. While lashing out at the JNK administration over its inability to provide even basic amenities to the people of the valley in this harsh winters, quote Monga, the frequent power cuts even in those areas which have metered connections and were assured round-the-clock supply in the past are causing problems for the residents as night temperatures have already slipped to sub-zero levels. Within days of Darbar, Mu offices shifted to Jammu, the valley plunges into darkness. He went on to say, in the absence of the elected government, people in JNK are facing the worst crisis. It is the responsibility of the administration to provide basic facilities to the people in these harsh winters. Kazi Mujahid Hilal, a resident of Delina village in North Kashmir's Baramulla district, has been missing for 15 years and his family still prays for his well-being and safe return to home. Speaking to Kashmir News Bureau, a member of Kazi Hilal's family said that he left home 15 years ago and till now his whereabouts are not known. Kazi has an MSc in chemistry and as per reports the last time, Kazi was seen in the Indian state of Punjab. With tears in his eyes and an aching heart, Kazi's father said, I want my son to return home. It has been years since my arms felt him. I just want the people to help me locate him. He further requested netizens and all the people to share this news regarding the unfortunate disappearance of his son and hopefully the message might just reach to him. As the overnight temperatures remain below the freezing point through the Kashmir Valley, the weather office on Monday forecasted below normal minimum temperatures in Jammu, Kashmir, Ladakh during the winter season. In its seasonal telecast, the meteorological department said that during the winter season, which is December to February, below normal minimum temperatures are likely over most subdivisions of North, Northwest, Central and few divisions over East India. As per the official report, Srinagar recorded a minimum temperature of minus 1.3 degrees Celsius, Pahalgam minus 2.3 degrees and Gulmarg minus 3 degrees on Monday. On the other hand, the minimum temperature was minus 4.3 degrees in Leh town and minus 6.5 degrees in Kargil town of Ladakh. Well, that the dry weather conditions are likely to continue till December the 3rd and as per officials, after 3rd December, another spell of rain and snow is likely to occur in Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. For more stories, visit our website kashmirnewsbureau.com and also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. That's it for today. Take care of yourselves.